Hello everybody, uh, thank you for joining us uh, SEO Academy. We have a special guest today, uh, Robert, uh, one of uh, number one executives at Website Zippo. Hi Robert, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing amazing, how are you doing Danny? Thank Thanks. you for having me. <laughs> doing good, thank you, thank you. Very right. nice having you here today. Uh, I have a couple questions uh, prepared for you. Uh, you haven't heard them, you haven't seen them. The page is blank. <laughs> 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 Just looks like everything wrong with it, not so. Um, Number one question is like why, why do you do what you do? I mean, you know, uh, tell tell our listeners and our learners and you know what what, what do you do what what you do? Why does anybody do anything, Danny? For money. For money. Yeah, that's a good kind of answer. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> For money. Listen, okay. And uh, why would what would you recommend your company to a small business owner? Uh, instead of some, some other company, somebody else. See, the, the great thing about SEO Expert Danny, like um, when you're looking for an SEO company, you want to find a company that's ranking on the first page. So you go look up SEO Expert Danny, that's what you're going to find. You're going to find SEO Expert Danny on the first page. That's a good, uh, that's, yeah, that's true. When we do look for something, we like to, you know, go for somebody that ranks well or is right there, right? Like right. Best restaurant so, in Silver Lake. That's true. Like. Yeah. Um, for regular for regular businesses looking for our type of service, you want to make sure like um, if you're looking for a specific keyword to rank, you want to make sure that that company is ranking for that keyword as well. You know, like uh, for example, our business, our niche is SEO services, so we rank for that specific keyword. Okay, so let's say that the hairdresser, the good hairdresser, should rank for a for a, for a hairstyle is Hollywood or yeah, hairstyle, um, hairstyle. Ha haircut. Haircuts for men, haircuts for women, or hair, you know, if they want to rank, you know, even uh, locally, you know, they would want to go after the city that they rank for. Okay. Like for okay. example, here in Silver Lake, uh, hairstyles in Silver Lake, or something similar to that. Th that yeah, 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 I agree. Uh, that's true. Thank you very much, Robert. Uh, the next question we have for you is uh, a lot of our. In our um, members are wondering how mm, and what they should do as a small business owner. For example, we have one of the, our clients, uh, they work, they're a tree service company. Like what would, you, what would you say, you know, to small business owner on, on a question like what can I do on my, myself to help you to rank me better on, or, or get me more business or what should I do? Should I write? Should I learn how to code the website? What should I do? Uh, for a tree service company, the first thing I would recommend is to you know open your Yelp, okay. open your Google Local, okay. your Facebook, your Twitter. Uh, make sure that your address is on there, um, that your phone number is on there correctly, and uh, make sure that you're active on those accounts you know on a regular basis. So you want to make sure you're taking care of reviews, responding to reviews, uh, making sure that your that your clients are uh, writing reviews for you. Uh, all of that helps you um, improve like uh, your brand, uh, how you appear to other people and you know essentially it gets you more phone calls. Uh, that's correct, a very good uh, answer. We should all uh, l remember that. Um, collect as much content we can, photos. Uh, photos, uh, you know, uh, images of your jobs, jobs. Okay. images of your, of your workers working, people love seeing that kind of stuff. Um, make sure you send it to you to the company that's doing your marketing or do it yourself. Make sure you use hashtags in the in those posts, uh, links to your website. Thank you very much, uh, Robert. Uh, appreciate your answer. Uh, you mentioned that uh, um, they should be getting reviews. Uh, like, uh, how is a small business owner supposed to ask for reviews or solicit reviews? Like, say, hey, I did a good job. I trimmed your tree. Give me a five star right now, or or. Um, what do you what do you want to do is the, uh, maybe when you're uh, giving them the last invoice or when you're invoicing them is probably uh, try to give them like a incentive to do it like a disc like a discount on their next job or um, or give them five dollars for a coffee you know at Starbucks everybody loves Starbucks or you know even give them a gift card to to whatever they want you know you nowadays you could get gift cards for anything online and that you know that makes people want to go do something for you. Okay, so you know, ask them for the view when you do the last invoice. Help them, um, give them incentives, uh, free discounts, and uh, remember, you're not asking 
for a good review. You're asking for an honest review. Okay, and you're not asking for a good review, you're asking for honest rating. That's all you're asking for. Uh, very good uh, uh, answer, we like it. Uh, you mentioned hashtags. Uh, a lot of our students in SEO Academy, they ask us, uh, is there a formula or how to find out the correct hashtags? Where do you guys know about those hashtags? Do I go by the most search words? Do I go by, uh, what would you suggest uh, a small business owner, one of our students, how to use their hashtags in their posting? Um, I would recommend you find a hashtag that represents yourself. Uh, every time you hashtag an image, it'll if you if you look for it on Google, it'll it'll rank for that hashtag. You'll be able to find all the hashtags that you post. Uh, the second thing I recommend is find hashtags that um, that already have a high volume of people looking for them. So that way, um, you know you're using the right hashtag with Instagram. Um, they give you they give you um, examples of hashtags that you can use that are like the most popular. They tell you how many posts are for that given hashtag. So that's how you know they're popular. So that's one way to go about it. Or just Google the hashtag and you can see how many photos are tagged to it. Uh, thank you. Um, so uh, we know no more about hashtags. Uh, some of our students um, have expressed that they join our academy because uh, they have been mistreated with SEO agencies or uh, they have been over promised and under delivered uh, they have bad experiences dealing with them um, they all promise them on the first page of Google right away and then you know this never happened they didn't get business they were just spending more and more money and longer they stay in the game they felt like left out and they were kind of forgotten uh, what would you what would you recommend um, those type of business owners that already dealt with the SEO agencies and they are not happy with them, why they should reconsider their 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 you know decisions and maybe you know give it a shot to you and your company. Now, what helps us out you know, in regards to that is that we're a certified Google partner, so um, that's the first thing that we're going for us. Uh, the second thing we have going is that we're a batch certified Google partner. Um, that's a hard certification to get. Uh, that just means that we deliver what we promise. Okay, and uh, do you guys, I mean, you deliver a promise, do you guys promise like, hey, you sign up right now for 189 SEO and tomorrow you're gonna get thank you words on the first page of Google? Mm -hmm. Do you guys no, have we, like a trick? You guys press like a button, bam, you're paying. There's, there's, no, there's no trick to SEO. SEO takes time. It's. Uh, it's, it's a lot of work. Uh, we usually uh, promise our clients uh, that they'll see changes on a monthly basis on the ranking. Uh, we usually get uh, keywords depending on how popular they are on the first page uh, within three months. Um, if they want a specific keyword on, the, on their home page, we'll, we'll give them an honest, honest time frame for it. Uh, that's what you know, differentiates us from other companies. Uh, we let you know when your keyword is going to be on the first page. We don't just say it's going to be, hey, you're going to get it next month. It's going to, we'll, we'll, t we'll be honest with you in regards to that. Okay. Um, we uh, have learned yesterday on our uh, um, on air on Hangouts uh, that, are, you know, for some reason Google is turning them off and is uh, transferring the on air Hangouts on YouTube Live. Um, we talk about uh, um, basically how important it is for a small business owners uh, to um, um, participate with online and where is this all going but you know l let us hear from you Robert I mean you've been you've been in in sales and in marketing for for a, for a long uh, term you have base experience with all of those different ways uh, where do you see SEO going what what is is it is CRO really so important what do you think about AdWords and CPC campaigns? Like, where do you see the situation from today to 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 the to in, in the next few months or next year? Where is this all going? AdWords um, and uh, Google are constantly changing, um, so you have to make sure that that you always have fresh content for your new site. Um, in regards to where they're going to go with uh, keywords, I mean, they're going to keep improving uh, the Google algorithm, you know, till, so people could find exactly what they're looking for. So they're always looking to improve that. 
So I, I believe that in the next couple of years, it's gonna it's gonna keep changing. You're you're still gonna need somebody like a a professional SEO company that's on top of that, constantly learning all the new changes all the time uh, to stay on top of those trends. So um, the good thing for our company, I guess, that we're gonna be in business for a while. Well, thank you very much. And uh, um, how about uh, social media? You guys offer social media marketing. We, we've talked about social media. Uh, how many you know uh, users are there on Facebook? Who's getting to a two billion? Uh, how many users on Instagram? Is going to be a billion. Uh, Twitter users, five hundred million. Like, where is this all going? Like social media. How important is social media? for a, a small business owner, like a tree service company? Should they post every day? Should they take pictures? How do, should they get followers? What is your like basic recommendation for, for a small business owner? Uh, what can he do or they, she do on their own? And what can you guys do as a company to help them uh, on social media, if that is even important for their small business? Uh, social media is very important uh, for a company. It's uh, usually um, when a company, when a cl when a customer is, go is going to uh, look you up, they'll check your social media out. Um, they'll check how active you are on there, what kind of content you have on there, um, how many people are actually liking your post, um, how many people are actually sharing it. Um, I think the best thing for a company when they're starting off is you know share share with your friends first. Your your friends are the most likely people to like your page first. Um, then those people, or those friends, are more likely to share it. Uh, it makes you look more real when you're starting off. Um, in regards to uh, how it helps you out, like it just makes you look like you're a real company. They, it makes you look, you know, like you're doing what you're. Not only not only are you doing what you're doing, but you're showing the people what you're doing. Okay, so it's like a reputation, like having a good reputation. You know, it's like branding yourself and branding you know yourself. showing okay. showing them your, okay. you know, that you're real. Uh, I know we've taken a lot of your time, Robert, we appreciate uh, We have one last question uh, for our students and uh, our subscribers on YouTube. We have an important question. Small business owners are really strictly limited their time. They have their jobs, their businesses, they have their you know, the staff, the employees, their expenses, their families, and they have to sleep. So we've, we've learned today from you reviews, content, pictures, we've learned all that stuff, but uh, now let's say a small business owner has only one hour a week that they can dedicate to, to, to this and they can't really afford yet the, the agency or they would like to test waters themselves. What would you recommend them to do in one hour a week uh, you know, for them to use best their time and help themselves uh, with, with online for, for, their, for their business marketing strategy? Uh, are you saying as 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 them as our client or just them on their own? Them or no. Just as a, let's say there's a Joe in North Carolina. He he is a roofer. He wants to do you know so uh, everything on his own, and he only has one hour a week that he can devote because you know the last of the time he's all booked. But he he's willing to skip the gym every Thursday and do one hour of SEO. Uh, what would you recommend him to do that hour every week? Uh, I would recommend him uh, if uh, maybe write a blog post um, uh, or a case study of what he did at work, or you know uh, something that they did with that was amazing that he could share with everybody on his friends list, um, or or follow up with his clients. You know, uh, you know, say tell him thank you. You know, send me a referral. Uh, and uh, you know, make next job I'll give you like uh, a discount or something, um, or just you know share their share their experiences on on their uh, on their social media. Thank you very much. So we all learned a big secret for one of the SEO experts at website Zippo, Google Partner. Um, what we should do uh, basically, uh, you know, write a post. Uh, Number one, uh, make a case study. Uh, a very good answer. We we like that. Uh, you know, show friends list, uh, showcase what have been done. Uh, social media, follow up with the client. Uh, refer, you know, ask them for this, uh, ask them for referrals. Offer them discount for the next job. And, you know, share your experiences. Thank you very much, uh, Robert, for having you. Uh, it's always our pleasure. And see you next time. See you tomorrow. <laughs>